Okay, what I'm going to show here in this tutorial is how to go from 3D Studio Biped, which is what I've got here, this is a Biped in 3D Studio Max, to Unity, and I've got the Unity game engine up right here, and if I just play this, you'll see what we're going to end up with in a few minutes. So he's in a walk cycle, now he's in a run cycle, I can turn him, and I just want to show how to do this, hopefully in, in about five minutes. We'll see how this goes. So I'm going to start off with uh, looking at my bare bones um, max project. You can see the root cycle right there. He's just kind of bouncing up and down. The walk cycle from about 25 to 55, and uh, 65 to 95 or so is the run cycle. And you'll notice I'm using a template, and I think that's the best way to do. Um, a lot of these cycles just have something to look at. Um, what I'm going to do now is just right click, unfreeze all, take that template and uh, delete it and file save as and we'll just make a copy of this. Actually before I save this I'm going to make a place to put it. So let's go to Unity for a minute and make a completely new project because I want you to see exactly how I do this. So I'm going to do uh, file new project and let's put it here in the Unity Engine and we'll call it um, Biped Demo and we'll hit create and you want to save your changes? No, I don't need to save my changes. That forces Unity to relaunch and we should enter the new project now and now that we've got a project we have a place to put our assets you don't have to have the project first it's just how I like to do it so uh, I put everything where it belongs so this thing's taking a second to decompress and what I'll do is go back to Max in the meantime do a uh, file export Oh, I should mention a few things before I export this. Uh, the first thing is if I look at size, um, if I make a box here, notice this box is about 200 units high or so. So what I've done is I went to customize and unit setup and I set my units to generic units and uh, I, I make my characters about 200 units high for um, the Unity engine, and so it's good to have the right scale. Also, if I hit F, we're looking right into the eyes of the biped character. So this thing's got the, his head up in Z, which is the normal way you would mod model things. And uh, let me just spin him around a little bit. You notice that the texture is turned off right now because he's invisible, but I can go in and grab that and go to properties and say let's no longer make him see through so you can see what he looks like okay and this is the same character I created for the book uh, creating game art for 3d engines um, so let's go back here to unity for a second um, unity we have a blank file up and we're ready to import stuff so let's go minimize that for a second and go back to this guy and we'll do a file export and we'll uh, call this one um, well first let's find the right place for it biped demo and I'll put it in assets just sitting right in the assets folder and we'll call this bip um, one biped one and I'm gonna say save now um, I'm in the middle of exporting this, but I want to show you one more thing. Let's go to wireframe and look right here. What is normally called the BIP01 uh, node for a biped, I've changed it to be called root joint with a capital J. So just so you know that, that's important depending on what scripts you use in the engine to get it to work. So again, we can go back to this, file, export, FBX, are we in the right place? Yes. 
Bip1, that's a good name. Save. Now, what do you want to check here? First thing is, what version of the FBX exporter are you using? I'm using 2009.3. And um, I can see where it's going. My system unit is set to meters. My animation is checked. Bake animation is checked. Deformations is checked. And scene units converted to meters. Up axis is set to Z up. You can see that the head is faced up in Z. Depending on the version of FBX you use, you may have to change this to Y up. And you may have to make a parent bone for the root joint and rotate that thing so that the head is up in Y. But with this version of FBX, I don't have to do that. And what else? Anything else? Binary. We'll hit OK. It just takes a second. Didn't get any error messages. Going to Unity now. In Unity, I've got a camera and that's about it. But I do have my biped that Unity already discovered. Unity is pretty active that way. If you put something in your folder, it'll detect it. So what do we have here? We've got the texture for the robot there. And then this next one is the actual biped. Now, I could just bring him into the scene, but it's nice to have something for him to run on. So I'm going to go to Terrain, Create Terrain, and I'm going to pick a brush and edit textures and add a texture. And the texture I want is grass rock. I'll add that and I also need to go to terrain. Um, let's see here. There it is. Good. That automatically paints my terrain for me. I can pick other textures, but I'm not covering that right now. So we'll go to here, biped one, drop it into the scene, and it looks pretty good. Let's just uh, hit F to zoom in on it, and I can go to this move button and move him down until he's going into the ground a little bit. So he looks okay. There's no light in the scene though, so let's go to game object, create other directional light and just drag this up a little bit and rotate it a little bit and let's see that'll work for what we're doing I'm not gonna mess with it too much um, then we'll uh, go to biped again and we need to do some things on the biped. For example, right here under BIP01 BIP I can go to take one, which is my animations, and click on this little plus sign here and I want to add some animations because I'm going to be using a script that expects 11 different animations. Now I'm not going to go ahead and make all those right now, I'm just going to give them names. So the first one is idle, then you have walk, then you have run, then you have jump, and how am I remembering these? I just wrote them all down. Here's the list that the script is going to need, so I'm just putting those in. Run, uh, jump, jump fall, jump land, ledge fall, but stomp, jetpack, jump, punch, and wall jump. And I'll apply those. Okay, so we've now got some cycles to work with. Let's go back to that for a minute. Now with the idle cycle, it's going from 1 to let's say frame 20. Uh, with the next cycle, we're going from maybe 25 to 55. I'm actually not sure, but I'm guessing. And then for this next cycle, the run cycle, let's go 65 to 95. And I'm just going to bump this up to that so we don't overlap. And I don't think we're going to be even using these other cycles. You can see my settings here. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to hit apply. Now we need a couple of other things, and I'm going to show you where these are. Um, if I go to Explore here, 
on my D drive. I've got Unity Engine, and I've got the uh, tutorial that comes with Torque called the uh, 3D Platform. I think it's called the Platform Project. Let me make sure. Yeah, so I'm going to go to, oh, there it is, 3D Platform Project Endpoint. You can get this from Unity. This is their flagship tutorial, and it's a pretty cool little game. I'm going to double-click that and go right into the completed tutorial and go to assets and under assets I should have some scripts uh, let's see where those are script player I've got third person animation third person player animation um, third person controller and I think that's all we need, those two scripts. So what I've done is uh, I made sure I've got those scripts. In fact, I'll just borrow, copy those from here. Here and here. Control C and what do we call this project? BIP demo? Or biped demo? There we go. And under assets I'm just going to put this in, control V, and that's all I should have to do to prepare this. Then I can go to component, third person player, and drop this in in just a minute. First I have to pick on BIP01. Then component, third person player, third person controller. Now it's saying you're going to lose the prefab. What this is is when you make a change to something that was a complete unit in the project, um, it no longer is exactly the same as it was in the project folder, so it alerts you to that. Uh, and we also need third-person player animation. Now you've got this thing that came in called the character controller. I'm just going to move that a little bit by going to center and move it up in Y a little bit. I don't want to see it from the side. You want to make this about the size of your character. And that's close enough. And what else do I need here? Bipo ones animations look good. I'm going to show you these scripts real quick. If I go to third person controller script, this is the script that comes with it. Okay, you can double click those. This is just a JavaScript script. And you can see there it's calling root joint. That's why I had to change BIP01, that node in my biped, to root joint. Otherwise, this thing wouldn't work. Another thing I wanted to point out, third person player is calling all these different animations. So if I don't have those, I'm going to get error messages. That's why I set up those different cycles. Okay, so close those. Um, what else do I need? A camera. There's my camera. Let's look at it from the top view. And it's way over here, so I'm just going to move it. And let's go to BIP01. They're about in the same place. If I hit F, I can zoom in on the biped. And I can go back to my camera by clicking on the camera and just maneuver it so the camera's pretty close to the biped. Go to my side view keep maneuvering the camera. What I want to do is kind of be looking down from behind the biped. And we'll just rotate it a little bit. Something like that. Now I'm going to take this camera and just drop it on the biped object so it's a child of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit play and see if anything works. Okay, so now you can see I've got a biped that's working. I can use my arrow keys to go forward, turn, or stop by releasing the key. So that's it in a nutshell. That's how you can use biped objects created in 3D Studio within the Unity game engine. I'm in Unity 2.5 right now. Okay, and you can find that on unity3d.com and uh, Start with the platformer tutorial. It's a great tutorial. And that's about it.